what did you think about uh, obviously Jokic played a big role? Just just how just what did you think he was able to do to kind of take control, especially in the second half? Uh, I mean, he was pretty dominant across the board. Um, we tried to throw some different looks at him, make him uncomfortable. But the one thing that he's doing which really ignites their team is he rebounds the ball, and then he just pushes in transition. And um, they really hurt us in transition tonight. And this was another game where you guys were in control early, and then the offense starts to sputter, and then it kind of ravels from there, I guess. What did you kind of see from the offense, especially there in that second, third quarter? <laughs> where the lead kind of got away from you. Yeah, you're right. Um, into the second quarter, going into the third, we just stopped moving the basketball, um, stopped making simple plays. And, you know, good teams have a tendency to try to take you out of what you do. I thought Aaron Gordon was, was solid defensively. Uh, he and Kywell Pope got, kind of got aggressive and got into guys. But we have to continue to execute over and over again and not get bored. I thought. We got a little comfortable uh, late in the second and in the start the third. That's the difference in the game. Yeah, this has been a, a consistent conversation with you wanting to play, you know, uh, unselfish ball, wanting to share the basketball. And then there, there's these moments where it just stops. Uh, I guess what do you have to do at this point to kind of address it? Keep working. We got to keep our heads down, keep working. It's hard to win in the NBA. We're seeing that. And um, there was some beauty in what I saw tonight. Um, even Milwaukee game. Two tough losses, but we're, we're starting to regain our identity on both ends of the floor. So we're there. We're right there. But we, we have to sustain it for 48 minutes. And tonight, we just we didn't do it. As I said, that's another conversation I feel like we've had a few yeah. times now is having games where you guys play 40 great minutes, 44 great minutes. Yep. What, what is it going to take to get back to, to, to play on full 48? A combination of you know execution, keeping the game simple, uh, we got to rebound the ball better, something that we just didn't do tonight. So uh, there are a few things that we can clean up. I like what I saw. Um, once again, we're not happy with the loss, but we'll try to build on the things that we did well. Uh, 28 assists, only 15 turnovers, so not a bad game for us, but just not enough to win the game. And that's where we have to come together and be better. How much do you think that it seems like Brian, didn't, especially the, the watch the game tonight, he's had really, really good first quarters. And then started to take him on, especially with kind of, you know, I'm assuming it's just Russ. How do you kind of get him going and get him trying to get some, some easier looks there um, after, after the first quarter? Yeah, I, you know, he's coming off being, being not being playing for two months. So um, he's going to have a bit of rust as he works his way through it. Um, he'll just continue to work, continue to watch film, continue to get on the floor and, and get sharper and sharper as we progress. But we kind of expect it, it. It'll take some time. Um, but I like the fact that Brandon set the table early with his ability to see the floor, make open passes, and guys were knocking down shots. We just got to continue it. Do you feel like you've seen progress from him game one to now game three? Oh, absolutely. Uh, even defensively, he's in the right spots. Uh, he's, his rotations are on point. Once again, I'm, you know, realistically, He's been gone for two months and not, not playing. So it just takes time, and he's working his way through it. But each game, he's gotten better and better. And you mentioned defense. You know, how much did Herb really need a game like this just to make the impact the way he did on both ends? Herb was really good on both ends of the floor. Um, look, Murray had a, had a good game and made shots. But I thought both Herb and Najee tried to make it tough on those guys. And we have room for improvement. Um, I got to go back and continue to watch the tape. Um, we got to get some practice time in, but we'll get there. Thank All right, you. thanks, guys. Thank you.
All right, first off, let me just, how difficult is it to, to deal with that big fella, you know, over on their side and just everything he does on the court? Um, he's a two-time MVP for a reason. You know, it was it was tough, obviously, like the, the range of shots that he has in his bag um, is is ridiculous, but you know, I you know when you're when you're uh, when you can't hold your ground, you know, guarding a post up, it makes it really tough to guard a guy like that. So, um, yeah, hats off to him. I mean, he you know he did what he does. And just it feels like throughout this losing streak, it's been consistent where you guys start off fast, get a good lead, and then the offense kind of sputters, and then you kind of lose control from there. Just. What did, you, what did you just see tonight from the offense in that second and third quarter where you guys lost the lead? Uh, I think it was the third quarter, um, mainly. I mean, we went into halftime at the number one seed in the West, fully healthy, home court. Up, oh, we did our job in the first in the first half. You can't. Um, so I'm not necessarily sure what what um, how to remedy that, but you know, the, it seems to be that's that's something that we need to. And put an area emphasis on is coming out of half strong. Not just coming out of half, but it seems like at least, at least in the last month, there's been games of 40 great minutes, 44 great minutes. Mm -hmm. How do you get back to 48 good minutes of basketball? Focus, focus um, from all 10 guys that play. 11, however many, 10, 11 guys that play. Everybody's got to be focused, and it's got to be a. Um, it's got to be a full focus, you know. Like, they, like I said, we were forty minutes of tonight's game. We won, we won that game, you know. And then eight minutes got blown out. Yeah, I think I looked up at the start of the third quarter and we were down eleven to two right off the bat. And in this league, you let a team get feeling good, get feeling hot, right? Especially on their home court, right off, right out of halftime. It's now, now their whole offense opens up. So it's. Uh, um, if I had the answer, um, if I had the answer, it, it would be a whole lot easier. But you know, that's just one of those things where we all got to collectively put our heads together and 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 uh, you know really make that a point of emphasis is to focus for forty eight. Brandon has obviously you know he's coming off of missing two months of basketball. Mm -hmm. um, seems like tonight in a Washington game, he's some really good first quarters and things kind of start to slow down. But how can you guys help him get going um, outside of the first and maybe late in the fourth? Um, I thought Brandon. I thought Brandon. I I, I didn't see anything necessarily wrong um, with him in these past few games. He's obviously you know shots gonna fall. Like he's a dude's an all star. It's he's been out for two months. It's gonna take shots gonna be a little bit rusty. But you know nine assists. You know he's leading us in that category. And it's one of those things. It's a lead by example thing, right? Like there have been games in the past. I think it was mm, maybe Washington. Maybe Washington. I don't know. One of these past three, four games, we had the least amount of passes we had had an entire game all season. Can't win that way, right? So Brandon comes out tonight and is trying to move the ball, share the ball, and it's a lead by example type deal. So when if, if if you see our you know if you see our lead man getting off it, making the right plays, shoot. Trey Murphy, Herb Jones, Larry Nance, Jose Alvarado, you better do the same. And so, um, we're rocking with B. You know, and I and I actually appreciate his approach to the game because, you know, our offense what did look really good. You know, and, and his shots gonna come around just like we said. But guys stepped up, and um, it's just that eight minute lapse. Another good Fletcher, two steals in the uh, on the walkover. Yeah, her and just the night that he had mm -hmm. all around. What, what did you see from him? Um, that's Herb Jones in a nutshell. Um, you know, it's it's tough. It's tough when you've got, you know, when you've got. You know, a lot of people in in your ear telling you a lot of different things. It's tough, but they didn't make it to the NBA and get the best contract in second round history, right? This man is he's a proven winner, um, and he he just continues to make winning plays time and time again. So, look, I I uh, we love her. Good game, bad game. Great shooting, poor shooting. Good defense. There's never bad defense, um, but. You know, I just, uh, that's Herb Jones. Do you think he needed this? He I, do. Like I do. I and, do. And, and uh, for him, you know, for him, I, I don't know how much that means because I don't know how much the outside noise gets to him because he, 
he, he's Herb, you know. So, um, but it's one of those things that Herb is. Herb is. Uh, Herb was a monster tonight, and we just uh, we just appreciate him on in every aspect of the game. Now, nine straight losses for you guys. Certainly didn't expect to be here after the way you started the season. Uh, just what's the conversation amongst the team? Just just about addressing this, getting it back on track. You know, just trying to figure this thing out. No one feels sorry for us. You know, that's just that's what that's the reality of it, right? Like. You know, no Z, no B for extended period of time. Um, threw off our rhythm a little bit, and now it's hard to pick back up. You know, we have after being first in the West, you know, we got a target in our back, and teams are ready to play us. And, and this schedule's been pretty unforgiving. So, um, you know, we just we got to throw the first punch. Like I thought, we did really good. Thought we did really good to start the game today. Second quarter, solid. A little dip at the end of the second, and then carried over from halftime to the third. But again, like. I don't want to say we're getting there. There's no moral victories in the NBA, but um, having B help, having B back helps helps a lot, um, and it's coming. It's coming. We're uh, we're not gonna be down too much longer. Yeah, and coach has mentioned a few times how you felt like you know at certain points during the losing streak, it felt like you guys just kind of lost your identity. You mentioned the Washington game where you had the least passes you had all season. Uh, what do you kind of do to kind of get back to okay? This is who we are. This is how we need to play. How do you kind of find that as you're trying to get pieces back together, guys finding their rhythm, all that kind of stuff? Um, I think it starts a little bit with what B did tonight, you know, what Brandon did tonight. Come out, share the ball, move the ball. Um, and, and like I said, in the first half, we kind of looked like the Pelicans, right? We looked like that team, that gritty, scrappy, fighting team that, every, that everybody fell in love with. That's what we looked like again, and then it dipped. But that's where it starts is leading by example. Brandon, CJ, you know, obviously – you know, Jonas, myself, the older guys on the team can can um, bring us along, but it's got to be a concerted effort from the whole group of, hey, I've got a shot, but there's a good to great. You know, I've got a good shot. There's a great one. You know, there's – that man's taking – you know, it's a long closeout. I don't want to get there. Maybe I could just stay for the rebound. No. Run, sprint, close out, and, we, you know, the rest of us got your back. So um, it'll be uh, – it's just an effort from the whole team, and, and I think uh, – I think, you know, what Bri I, I appreciate what Brandon did tonight. Thanks, Larry. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. No doubt. <laughs> Said it. We got to talk about what you did on the defensive at night, the defensive end tonight. Uh, just how do you feel like you were able to make your impact felt on that end? Uh, I mean, I kind of just did what I always, you know, tried to do: come out and play with a ton of energy on the defensive end and the offensive end. Um, it just kind of be a relief to the other guys, uh, so they won't have to do as much, you know, on the defensive end. So that's why I was just trying to be super active. I'm on the defensive end tonight. And just. Uh, how much did you feel like you just kind of needed a game like this where you kind of felt like yourself again? You had a couple of big games here in Denver where you were able to make a, uh, just a big impact the way we've seen you before. Um, I mean, I think it's just, uh, you know, staying the course, um, trusting in the work uh, that we're all putting in. Uh, I mean, just going out and having fun. Uh, Coach has been speaking on it a lot. I'm um, just going out, you know, and playing with joy. And I think uh, we got back to that tonight. But we just came up short. This is during the stretch. Uh, it, it feels like there's been a lot of games where you guys have played 40 good minutes or 44 good minutes. What's, what's it going to take to get back and play a full, complete game? I mean, that's it, the focus. Um, to play, you know, a full game and not have any mental lapses. Um, like when we do have mental lapses, uh, they kind of, you know, cost us in a way because I think, you know, we might uh, go down in the third, and then never really catch up. Like we'll do, you know, we'll do pretty good in the fourth. But I think coming out uh, halftime and, and having a good third quarter is, is going to be key for us moving forward. What do you, what do you think the difference was tonight, where, where things kind of, kind of got away from you guys? Uh, I think the rebounding. I think they got a lot of old boards. Uh, we just gotta, you know, be better um, in that aspect of things.
And there's been a few games where you guys go into halftime with the lead and the offense just kind of slips. Uh, what have you kind of seen just uh, some of the issues you guys are dealing with offensively? Well, like you said, y'all play well for most of the game, and then these, there's these four or five minute stretches where the offense just kind of disappears. I think, you know, we do a good job uh, for, for the majority of the third. And then sometimes we don't finish quarters great. Um, and I think that's what kind of causes the slippage. Um, and, and we'll get down and, you know, start trying to fight back. But I don't think we can, you know, afford to get down in the third and then just rely, you know, on the guys the, like CJ, BI, and Z, uh, you know, to get us back in the fourth. Uh, magically, I think we got to put together like a full game, like you said, uh, and just continue to, you know, trust in each other and believe in each other. And just now, another <clears throat> straight losses. Just how do you feel about just the, the mood in the locker room, just the way y'all are talking about this and what needs to be done to address it? Yeah, it's tough, uh, but I mean, most of the guys are pretty positive. Um, it's just a, a, a rough patch. Uh, you can't really escape it. Um, you just gotta, you know, work work yourself through it. Uh, and just keep believing in the process, knowing that the work uh, will work. How much does, does last year help some of you guys knowing like where you were in the standings and, and how you finished to how you guys can turn so now? I think that kind of answers the question he asked. Um, like we've been in a, a worse position before um, and have fought our way out of it. And we don't want to put ourselves in that position again, you know, to have to play in two play-ins then, you know, travel on the road. Uh, but it's just something we're going to have to, uh, you know, work through. Uh, it's just, a, you know, a tough stretch right now. Um, but, you know, we, we're staying positive about it. We're going to get back to work tomorrow. Thanks, sir. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm.